Hi, welcome to my tutorial on looping. Uh, the looping mechanic is useful for many things. I'm going to jump in and show you how to set that up and what we can use it for. Alright, so we've put down a numpad and we're going to give it a health component, edit the logic. We're going to make it a reset. Uh, the def delay can be minus two. The message to kill it will be step dot one. Uh, we don't need to see the life bar, so we'll make that hidden. And send to tags will be step.2. And the message it sends on death is step.2. Uh, and we'll give this a tag step.1. So step one kills it, and step two is where it sends the message. So we'll go ahead and duplicate it, control D. And we'll go ahead and get rid of the step one, and we'll put step two. The message to kill it will be step two. So when this dies, it will go to this numpad. And then we change that from step two to step three. And that's the message it sends when it dies. So we'll go ahead and duplicate that with control D, hold shift, move that next to it. We'll get rid of the tag, make that step three, edit the logic, and the min instant death message will be step three. And the message it will send is step four, to step four tag. We'll go ahead and duplicate that. And we'll change that from step three to step four. Step four is the message it will use to die. And then we'll go ahead and make that step one. Now this dies instantly. We want, we want to highlight all of them, edit the logic, and we'll make it say, we can say like three seconds. And then uh, we need something to send the message to kill it. Uh, you can use a button, you can use um, the avatar's detection. So we'll go ahead and put another numpad down. We'll do the detection for this one. We'll go ahead and add a speaker component. Edit the logic. We don't want to wait for message, we want to detect entity. That will be the avatar. We can make it a bit smaller here. And the message it will send is step.1. So uh, we can do it only once. And we don't want a message to be seen when that happens. So we'll go ahead and press tab. And what we do is when we walk over to this numpad, these are dying. So the first one gets triggered and dies. After three seconds, it goes to the next one. The next three seconds, it moves to the next one. The next three seconds, it moves to the next one. And then the last one should loop back to the first one. And it should be never ending from one to four. Now, what have we done? We've got messages that we'll keep sending, four different messages. You can make them as little or as many as you want. And now we can use that for many things. All right, so let's go and give an example. So we can do a door here. Uh, what's a door that works? We know these doors work. So we'll go ahead and put that down and um, we'll get rid of the indicator and we'll make this one step.1 as the tag, edit the logic, we'll get rid of that. Uh, we'll also put step.2 and what we do here is we'll break the message to open step.1 and we'll put a message here step.2. Now we'll duplicate that hold shift, put it next to it. And what we'll do is we'll change it from step one to step dot three. Oops, step dot three. And we'll change the step one to step dot three. Uh, we'll duplicate it. And we'll change step two to step dot four. And the message required will be from two to four. Duplicate. Now the issue here is we do this again. This is gonna open two when that uh, triggers. But what we can do here is we do step three to step dot one. And step three to step dot one. And we'll edit the logic on this door. 
and we don't want the starting state to be closed. We want this one to be open. So what we did here is if we press tab, we've got that door open, those three closed. When we walk over here to start the trigger, they send a message one by one and the doors close one by one and these will be looping non-stop. So if you want to do it like an obstacle course where the doors are constantly changing, so when a player is trying to race through, um, you can jump all these up, of course. They don't have to be like this, but you can see that you can have things open and close in sequence on and off um, as many times as you want. That will just keep looping. Uh, another thing we can do here is uh, some games, you can have conversations occurring between players in a town that happen. I see some games that are like that. So we'll go ahead and just put two characters down and we can put a couple of numpads down. We'll just do one here, hold shift, put it above its head. We're gonna make that invisible. I like to take off collisions as well. And we'll take off the behaviors and we'll put on a speaker. And first one here will be step.1 and the message required will be step.1 and we can say, target is in sight and we can duplicate that bring it over here put it above his head and we'll change it from step one to step dot two change the message here to step dot two and we can say affirm it affirmative I can't spell we'll say roger that <laughs> roger that uh, we'll go ahead and duplicate and we'll put it above his head here and we'll change it from step two to step dot three step dot three uh, we will wait longer and we'll go ahead and duplicate that and we'll put it above this guy's head and we can change that to step dot four, step dot four. Uh, and we'll say turn four. And that will loop. Uh, but what we want to do here is delete the numpad name. And then we'll go ahead and press tab. So when you're walking through town, it's cool to see NPCs just having conversations amongst themselves and it's just looping and what we can do here is change it so it's not staying for five seconds but it stays for three seconds to match the timing of these numpads so we'll go ahead and do that again target is in sight roger that we will wait longer uh, turn four and that will just keep looping. Uh, you can do it for long conversations. All you need to do is just change the def timer on these. So if you want something that goes on for ages or something that happens every minute, you can make one of these pads 60 seconds. So when the player walks past, it might happen once every minute that the player might say something without the character needing to be interactable or the avatar to trigger it. But this is just a basic looping system um, you can even have that switch off as well uh, or you need to push a button before the four things start again um, instead of um, here going back to step one you can not have a message here and turn that off and what that will do then I, I'll just make sure that this is not only once so we'll turn off the only once and what we can do is we put our avatar into that radius to trigger it. It will do the loop in. After one time, it will stop and there won't be another loop. It will just stop until the player pushes a button or goes into range again to trigger it again. And it will repeat the four again. So there's many uses and many ways to uh, alter this technique and I hope you find this useful. Have a great day.